Okay, we're going to look at how to find the nth term formula for sequences. Right? So it's really important to find out what you're adding on to get from one number to the next in the sequence. And it's pretty clear here that we're adding on 7 each time to get the next term. Right? Now it's important for you to find out if that's being added on every time because if it isn't, you need to use a different skill. But we found that we're adding 7 on each time for this particular one. So it's pretty clear that that 7 is going to be really important for the sequence. What you'll do, once you've found out what you're adding on each time, write that number down. And then, we're finding an nth term formula, so we need a letter n. That letter n goes straight after that value that we're adding on each time. Now at this stage, this 7n, this is kind of a maths code for the 7 times table. So what that means is, this sequence really should be the 7 times table, but it's obviously not. So we need to finish this off by finding out how do we get from the 7 times table to the sequence. How do I get from 7 to 4, from 14 to 11, from 21 up to 18, and so on, and so on. And you can see, each time I need to take away 3. To get from 7 to 4, I take away 3. 14 to 11, take away 3. So we need to add that to our nth term formula, that extra instruction before it's finished off. So, what you need to do to find the nth term formula for a sequence. Find out what you're adding on each time. Check that it's the same number every time, otherwise you have to do something different. That value, whatever it was, write it down and put a letter N after it. And then, all you need to do after that is check one thing. That number that you're adding on, compare it with the first number in the sequence. How do you get from what you're adding on to the first number that you've got? Here I had to take away 3. Whatever instruction you need to do, it might be add 1 or whatever it might need to be, just write it after the letter N.